Well, so it, it was it was kind of great because in the beginning, Brad had an image or a picture from the web that he had found uh, based on a wine cellar that he really wanted to replicate. So we had a starting point. Uh, we also made a couple changes to the original design, uh, such as the uh, arch niche, uh, where in the original it was a square high case opening, um, in which the homeowners chose to go with the niche there. Um, we continued with the alder uh, wheat stained unlacquered focal wall with the balances along and below on both sides to kind of set off the three deep uh, vintage view uh, wine racking. Well, I think, I think one of the easiest thing uh, was <laughs> working with the homeowner. Uh, the homeowner uh, from the beginning knew pretty much what he wanted. Um, that, that helped uh, from the onset. Um, and he um, uh, was quick to make uh, changes on ideas that were proposed and seemed to really follow the, uh, the design uh, that we wanted to create here. I reached out to, to Harvest um, to see what they had in the way of um, cellars and designs and, and racking. Um, my previous home I had a wine cellar but I did it all with homemade kit racking and I wanted something a lot nicer. And then I talked to Tim and then we, um, I sent him the dimensions of the room and that's kind of where he got started and he sent me some concept drawings and then um, kind of look back and forth between different um, rack suppliers um, and, and, and settled on this one because it was in the right, uh, right price range for me and uh, good looking um, materials of construction. And then, uh, and then we got moving to finalize um, an actual design. And Tim came up here uh, one day and kind of fine tuned the measurements, which was good because we caught a few things that I hadn't measured properly. And then, uh, and then we got it built. And uh, I, I put it together with a, um, a friend of mine and I did most of the assembly. So it took us a little while, but well worth it. So in the beginning, uh, throughout the design phase, it was very apparent that the uh, homeowner was into whiskey. So part of the objective was to add or integrate whiskey into um, the design. And here we have um, a oak barrel that uh, is special to the homeowner in which he uh, had in South Carolina at his beach house and brought up to help with the display of his um, his cherished whiskey collection. Within the racking, uh, we added uh, shelves here to showcase some of, uh, some of his uh, more favorite uh, types of whiskey, uh, which blended in real nicely uh, with the arched turn into the wine racking. This is Canberra Mahogany. Uh, the homeowner wanted to choose uh, a darker wood. Um, stain wasn't necessarily a priority. Um, and the Canberra Mahogany comes in this uh, color all on its own. So the decision was made to clear lacquer uh, so that it gave off kind of like a sheen and popped a little bit. And this is a finished uh, right hand uh, quarter round shelving so that more of uh, the homeowner's whiskey displays could be shown.